I want you all to be comfortable when I sell it. Uh, uh, you know, Ron and Diane bought uh, six vineyards, so everything that we do uh, is, is buried to bottom. So I, I don't have to argue with, uh, with farmers. That's really important because, you know, my, my family for four generations has been growing grapes, which basically means the Weiss family's been lying about the quality of their fruit for four generations. You know? And we're always saying to the wine, oh, you got to pick, man, it's ready now. This is ready to go. This is great. Because, you know, a lot of what we do... Uh, that's all of what we do in California, and it, it's unfortunate, is that we pay by weight, right? So, so you, you know, when you tell a grower that you want to, you, you, you know, you want to wait a little bit to pick, well, that means, you know, the grapes are probably going to lose a little water, and they lose some of their weight, and that means you're just taking money out of their pocket. Uh, but it's a quality thing that you need for the winery, so it's always this tension between grape growers and wine winemakers on when to pick and how to manage the vineyard. So uh, one of the luxuries that Ron and Diane have handed me is that I don't have that conversation. Uh, from the minute I'm putting a pruning shear onto the vine, I'm thinking about making wine. I'm not thinking about money, which is really, really just unbelievable luxury for, for any winemaker. Um, and the other luxury I have is these incredible vineyards that Ron and Diane, Diane have put together that make our estate. And one of them is Mount George. So Mount George is at the very bottom of the valley uh, on the east side, uh, on, the, on, on the down slopes of uh, what we hope is an, an extinct volcano. So uh, <laughs> enjoy this, because when that mountain wakes up, we're all in trouble. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> So uh, why is that important? So, you know, Merlot is a funny grape, right? Uh, of all the great grapes that come from Bordeaux uh, originally, uh, Merlot is the one that they prize in Bordeaux the most because it gets its sugar the earliest. So Merlot doesn't need a lot of sunlight um, to, get its, to get its sugar uh, 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 development. Well, in California, we have kind of the opposite problem. We've got plenty of sunlight. So our challenge is, if the sugar goes up too fast, well, the flavors and the skins, which is where we get all the flavors from, maybe are, are, not, are not ready. They're not mature enough. And so we always have these terrible picking decisions. So we're always trying to find, if it makes any sense at all, a, a place that has lots of sun but is cold. Right? It's a bizarre thing to think about in California, how a place with lots of sun, because you need photosynthesis for, for flavor development, but cold so you don't get too much sugar. And that's the vineyard we have at Mount George. It's right down there on the San Francisco Bay, which, I, as I mentioned, is our big air conditioning system. And, uh, and we're also up on, on these hillsides. So what we have is fog that stays on the vineyard through the growing season, really almost all the way till 11 o'clock in the morning, most, most mornings in, in, uh, in, in Napa. And then we get this nice warm heat that develops a little bit of sugar in the afternoon. But what we really get that's important is that late afternoon sun that isn't warm. And that gets the skin ripe. That gets all those flavors in the skin and all the tannins resolved in the skin so that you can have what Merlot should be, which is dessert, right? I mean, you know how Cabernet is, right? Cabernet is like, I'm going to come in and I'm going to shrink wrap your teeth and gums. And you will, not, you'll be go, you will go numb unless... You have a fabulous piece of protein that Ruth Chris provides for you. Yeah. Well, why, well, so you know, so so Cabernet is really massive, but, but we with Merlot we always talk about how it has this gracefulness in your mouth and this this sort of black fruit sweetness in your mouth that's really almost like dessert. You know, I mean, it's really smooth and rich and something. It's like a, you know, it's like, it's a, you know, it's the bubble bath of red wine. <laughs> So uh, we love Merlot for that, and we also love Merlot for its beautiful sort of minty, fresh herb quality, that sort of rosemary mint quality that it has, uh, which is so unlike Cabernet, which is you know, the herbal part of Cabernet is a little bit more like, like dried herbs and dried floral. So, so we love all those differences in Merlot, and we love, we love our, our ranch because of that.